Hello, this is my RSA project. Um, this program is written in C because I can compile it on Windows and Linux easily um, with no added variations for the most part. Um, currently I'm doing it on my Windows computer so there's a couple changes to the C but not much. And um, you just need some basic libraries and you need a menu, uh, something to find the GCD, the modular exp <coughs> exponentiation algorithm, the extended Euclidean algorithm, and word collector, uh, word encoder, and then a sorry a word decipherer, and then my main, which um, I have everything wrapped into. So um, for those of you who don't program, it's a lot of gibberish. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to quickly compile the program, and what I have here is essentially just my RSA program by itself and I gave it uh, three different options plus a fourth to exit so I have one which is for the seller to create a public and secret key two for the buyer to um, cipher the data using the N's and E's from um, number one and number three um, for the seller to decipher the data using D so I purposely made this so I didn't keep any of the variables throughout each of these different um, uh, options because I didn't want any of the data getting mixed together and I didn't want people to just be able to like cipher their data and then quickly decipher it if you actually want to use this which I doubt you would but um, I'm going to first have choice one and I'm going to type in two different prime numbers I'm going to do 43 and 41 um, and then I'm going to write down the N um, and then I'm going to pick an E for example if I pick 5 that wouldn't be compatible with uh, the data based on um, E X uh, mod B has to equal 1 so what I do is I do I have to pick something else which I'm going to do 55 that isn't compatible either so I'm going to do 101 um, so my E is going to equal 101 and my D is going to equal 1181 okay now what I'm going to do is I'm going to say cipher the data um, pick a word I would like to encipher I'm going to do discrete mathematics and I wish I could spell there we go okay now I pick my n values which I just got and wrote down and my e value which is right there and there we go now I should probably write down those cipher text so I can show them to a group um, and the reason I put it in this format was this is how the book had it um, I had a, a way I could put it into a string but I eventually took that out of the program because I figured it'd be more difficult to try to remember and be able to type out this huge long string for the cipher text so I have each text individually there so when I go to this section three how many ciphered packages do I have I'm gonna say 14 and I'm gonna enter my D value which we got from above and my N value which again we got from above and then I'm gonna enter my digits which is well, right there I'm just gonna type them in and what this is going to do is going to pop out with the string above and break it down back into letters so we can read them and there you go discrete mathematics um, and this works for most smaller integers. I did find an error in my program, uh, which I can show you real quick. And I didn't have time to fix this, so it's just going to be there. But if I type two large prime numbers, such as the following, 1901 and 1907, and then pick an E, I get this huge value. Okay, Now I could go through do the same thing. And I'm going to write down this real quick 
because I need it. Um, I find that if I try to cipher the data, um, I'm just going to do art. Uh, let's do my name, Austin Walters. Um, and I type in my data. So, and then we get 101. I end up with these negative numbers, and I don't know why I'm getting these negative numbers. Uh, I'm generally putting it in the video because, well, it an error that I don't know and if anyone can explain why please do but um, I think it has something to do with the exponentiate <coughs> the modular exponenti exponentiation algorithm either C is having trouble determining it or something I am doing is wrong in here I spent about an hour trying to figure out what it was couldn't do it so I'm just going to leave it and if someone could tell me why please do it works for most numbers that are smaller than like 200, 300, all the prime numbers less than that, but when we get to the thousands, it starts having issues. So I don't know if that has something to do with the 32-bit operating system or what, but there you go. So um, yeah, but this program works for this, and uh, I hope this is a fairly good uh, example of how my program the RSA program works and um, I hope that this helped you understand RSA method a little bit better. Thank you.